Hello, welcome to Prezim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 8, Arrays in C Sharp. In this session, we will learn what arrays are and the advantages and disadvantages of using arrays. Let's look at an example. Now, if I create a variable of type integer, I can only store one value within that. If I want to store more than one value in this variable, it's not possible. That's when arrays come into picture. If you want to store a group of similar data types in a single variable, you can make use of arrays. For example, let's say I want to store a collection of even numbers. To do that, I can create an integer array and store my even numbers. Let's see how to create an array. Let's say, for example, I want to store three even numbers and Obviously, even numbers are integers, so I can create an integer array whose size is 3 and store 3 integers within that. So let's see how to create an integer array. Now, to create a variable of type integer, we say this is the data type, this is the name of the variable, and this is the value that we want to assign to that variable. But on the other hand, if you want to create an integer array, you'll say int of square brackets. So these square brackets indicates that we are going to create an array. And let's give it a meaningful name. For example, we want to store even numbers. So I'm going to name that. And OK, so we know that we are going to create an integer array. This is the type. And this square bracket indicates it, in, it as an array. And if it's an array, we know that it's a group of similar data types. In this case, group of integers. How many integers do you want to store? 1, 2, 5, 10. So you have to specify the size. So to specify the size you use the new keyword and say int and then again within a square bracket you specify the size of the array. In this case I want to create an integer array and store three integers within that array. And how do I store these three numbers? Now, arrays are integer index based starting at 0. So the first element is at position 0. So events of even numbers of 0 equals 0 because the first even number is 0. Even numbers of 1, the first, I mean the second even number, which is 2. Similarly, even numbers of, the, uh, sorry, the third element is 4. And let's say, for example, I want to print the second even number, console.write line, even numbers of 1. So what's going to happen? In this location, we are storing 2. So it prints that number out when we run this program, which is nothing but 2. In position 1, we are storing 2, and we print that out. So this is a very simple example of an array. Okay. Now, what is the advantages of what is the advantage of using arrays? Obviously, an array is a collection of similar data types. So if you want to store a group of similar data types, then you can make use of arrays. It could be integers, floats, double, string, any data type for that matter. For example, if you want to store, you know, uh, your your friends' names, a group of friend names, then you can make use of a string array. Alright, now, what is the advantage of using arrays? The advantage is they are strongly typed. Okay, meaning, if the array is of type integer, you can only store integers within that array. And if you try to store, for example, let's say, accidentally, if you try to store maybe a string, for example, like, hello, we know this is of type string but this array is of type integer and you already see there a red squiggly indicating an error so cannot if you look at the error message it says cannot implicitly convert type string to int because we know that even numbers is an array of type integer okay so arrays are strongly typed that's a very good benefit okay we will realize the advantage of being you know strongly typed later when we compare arrays with other collection classes that are available within dotnet framework which are nothing but lists you know and generics etc 
so until then don't worry about that just keep in mind that you know arrays are strongly typed in nature which is definitely the greatest advantage of arrays okay now what are the disadvantages of using arrays the disadvantages are once you initialize the size of an array they cannot grow in size anymore for example in this case the size of this array is 3 now if I try to hold a fourth element within this array for example 6 now if I go ahead and compile this and the way to compile is go to the build menu it's a build solution and if you look in the status bar at the bottom left hand corner it says build succeeded so no issues but on the other hand when you actually run this at runtime you get an exception and obviously you get an index out of range exception okay so what does that mean that means the array size is 3 but I'm storing but I'm trying to store a fourth element into that array which is not possible so we don't have a location 3 which is technically 4 because it starts from 0 so the index is out of range if you want to store a fourth element into this array and that makes sense okay so what does this prove this proves that once you specify the size of an array it's fixed you cannot you know store more elements than the initial size so it means arrays cannot grow in size over time that's one advantage one disadvantage of arrays actually within dotnet we have other collection classes like list you know hash table etc which can grow in size automatically which we'll be talking about later when we talk about those collection classes so until then don't really worry about them okay so one of the disadvantages of using arrays arrays cannot grow in size once initialized another disadvantage we have to rely on the integral index indices there is no better way to store or retrieve items from the array but we, if we use collection classes, it's very easy to store or retrieve items. We don't have to rely on these integral indexes, which we'll be talking about when we actually talk about collection classes in .NET. Okay, but for now, understand that the only way that you have to store or retrieve elements out of an array is to rely on these integral indexers. For example, let's say, by mistake if I try to retrieve an element you know maybe instead of typing 1 by mistake I, I typed 10 and when I go ahead and build the solution it compiles fine no compile time error but when I try to run this program it gives me an index out of range exception because this location does not exist within this array and why did that error happen because I have to rely on this integral indexes okay so that's why you know arrays are good in a way they are strongly typed so definitely that's the greatest advantage of arrays you know once you define an array to be of specific type you can only store that specific type of elements in that array that's a greatest advantage but the disadvantages are once you define the size of an array they cannot grow in size over time number one and number two the only way to store or retrieve elements out of the array is to use the integral based indices which is definitely error prone and a little complicated but on the other hand if we if we use the collection classes that are available in dotnet framework you know they are type safe number one and also they there are several convenient methods to store and retrieve elements out of that collection which we will be talking about at a later point of time okay most of the time in dotnet if we have to store a group of similar data types we will be using generics which we'll be talking about at a later session but at this point what you need to understand is an array is a collection of similar data types there are advantages of using arrays which are strongly typed and disadvantages are it arrays cannot grow in size once initialized and we have to rely on integral indexes to store or retrieve elements uh, from the array so that's it for today thank you for watching have a great day